हेलो ऑल एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज चंद्रमणि पांडे एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग माय अदर वीडियोस आई एम होपिंग दैट माय वीडियोस आर एडिंग सम वैल्यूज इन योर डे टू डे इंट्यून ऑपरेशन वर्क प्लीज कंसीडर सब्सक्राइबिंग माय चैनल बाय सब्सक्राइबिंग यू विल गेट एक्सेस टू न्यू वीडियोज एज सुन एज दे आर अपलोडेड एंड इट्स अ ग्रेट वे टू स्टे अप टू डेट विद माई कंटेंट एंड सपोर्ट मी एट द सेम टाइम so today i am going to talk about intune management extension covering its prerequisites installation directories log location ways to initiate a sync and registry location understanding the basics of intune management extension help us to understand how intune works and by understanding the intune management extension and its component we can troubleshoot the common issues very easily Now let's talk about the overview of Intune Management Extension. So the Microsoft Intune Management Extension also known as Intune Sidecar is a service that runs on the device and listed in the services app also known as services.msc. The Intune Management Extension allow to install application on managed system or to execute the PowerShell script. Intune management extension installs automatically when a PowerShell script or Win32 application is assigned to the user or device. The Intune management extension supplements the inbox Windows 10 MDM features and to summarize in short Intune management extension is responsible for all agent check-in activities, policy request policy processing reporting activities like installed application visible in the discovered app under xop intune admin center portal in last intune management extension is responsible for win32 application installation now let's talk about the intune management extension as well as the win32 app prerequisites so the intune management extension has many prerequisites and once they are met the intune management extension installs automatically when a powershell script or win32 application is assigned to the user or device so with respect to intune management extension prerequisites device must be running on windows 10 version 1607 or later if the device is enrolled using bulk auto enrollment device must run windows 10 version 1709 or later the intune management extension is not supported on windows 10 in as mode because as mode does not allows running non store apps device joined to azure active directory including hybrid azure active directory meaning that the device joined to azure active directory and joined to on premises active directory so for azure ad registered or workplace join device device must be registered in azure directory by adding accounts via settings and then go to account and then connect via access work or school so device must be enrolled in intune by any of the ways device can be enrolled in intune via group policy object device can be manually enrolled in intune which is when auto enrollment to intune is enabled in azure active directory user signs into the device using a local user account and manually join the device to azure active directory then they sign into the device using azure active directory account or user sign into the device using their azure active directory account and then enroll in intune for co managed devices that uses configuration manager and intune when installing win32 application we have to make sure that the app workload is set to pilot intune or intune but powershell scripts will be run even if the app workload is set to configuration manager and last scripts deployment to client running on intune management extension will fail to run if the device system clock is exceedingly out of date by month or year once the system clock is brought up to date script will run as expected now let's talk about how to check intune management extension services installed on the device or not so there are many ways we can check whether the intune management extension is installed on the device 
and these ways are via control panel, via start menu, via services, via MDM diagnostic reports and via Intune console. So with respect to control panel, we can check the Intune management extension is installed on the device under add and remove program. We can also find and check the Intune management extension under start menu and whenever the Intune management extension is installed on the device, then it's going to create a service called Microsoft Intune management extension. And if this service is present on the device, meaning that the Intune management extension agent is installed on the device. So we can also verify the installation of Intune management extension via MDM diagnostic report. And in last, we can also use the Intune console to check whether the Intune management extension service is installed on the device or not. And that we can check by searching the Microsoft Intune management extension application under discover apps. Now let's talk about Intune management extension folder locations. So whenever Intune management extension agent is installed on the device, it's going to create some files and folders as well as the log for the troubleshooting purpose. So there are mainly three to four places where we can find the Intune management extension installation traces. And these locations are Intune management extension agent installation location and which is under C program file x86 and then we have a Microsoft Intune management extension folder and this is the main folder where Microsoft Intune management extension is installed and all the binaries are stored under this folder. The second one folder or location is the IME cache location and the location of IME cache is C windows IME cache. So whenever we are deploying any Win32 application or PowerShell scripts, in both the cases, they are moving to IME cache folder and from there, the IME agent is going to trigger the installation as well as the execute the PowerShell script. And the log location of Intune management extension is under C program data, which is a hidden folder. And then we have to go to the Microsoft and then we have Intune management extension and within that we have a log folder. So by default logging label is set to information but for any kind of troubleshooting we can change it to verbose by changing the config file and the config file path is under C program file x86 and then we have Microsoft Intune management extension and within that we have a file called microsoft.management.services.intunewindowsagent.exe.config and within that we have to modify the system.diagnostic setting and the attribute name is switch value and then we can change it to verbose and recompile it and then restart the IME service. Now let's talk about a little bit more on the Intune management extension log. So we know that the log location of Intune management extension is under C program data and then we have to go to the Microsoft and within that we have a Intune management extension and then we have a log. So there are mainly four logs available within the log folder and these logs are Intune management extension dot log, agent execution dot log, client health dot log and the sensor dot log. So with respect to Intune management extension dot log, this is the main client log and which contain information about the all agent check-in activity, policy request and processing activity, reporting activity and the Win32 application installation activity. When we talk about the agent execution dot log, so this log is mainly responsible for tracking and troubleshooting of PowerShell or productive remediation script. With respect to client health log, this log is mainly responsible for Intune management extension health related events as well as the remediation related action. And last one we have a sensor dot log. This log is basically uh, containing the loggings of subscription event related to endpoint analytics. With respect to agent execution dot log, this agent execution dot log file is responsible for managing the policies and executing PowerShell script on Intune managed devices. 
the agent execution log file contain detailed information about the action performed by the Intune management extension on the devices including the installation and execution of policies and scripts as well as error or warning that occur during the execution. And last the agent execution dot log file is useful when troubleshooting issues with Intune policy or script deployment as it provides valuable information about the action performed by the management extension on the devices. And the last and very important log is the client help dot log. So this client help dot log is used to track the Intune management extension health related events and Intune management extension remediation actions. So when Intune management extension client is installed on the device, so there will be a task created within the task scheduler and we can find a task with the name Intune management extension health evaluation and this task will run once a day and the action is to execute the client health evaluation dot exe. This client health eval dot exe is going to check the health of Intune management extension by using the health check dot xml file which contains mainly the four parameters and these parameters are Intune management extension services exist or not and then Intune management service startup type and then service status and the last one is the memory status and if Intune management extension is unhealthy it will execute the remediation and we can find the detailed information in health report.json file containing the result of the last run. Now let's see how we can initiate Intune management extension sync. So by default Intune management extension sync is scheduled for every 60 minute and or after every computer reboot. So there are mainly 4 to 5 ways through which we can initiate the sync and these ways are via services, via company portal, via running a command under run or via PowerShell. With respect to services, we can restart the Intune management extension service in order to reinitiate the sync process. We can also initiate a sync via company portal and we can also execute a command under run to initiate a Intune synchronization process or even we can use the PowerShell to initiate a compliance policy sync or a application sync. Now let's quickly check the IME retry and execution interval. So by default Intune management extension sync interval is every 60 minute or on computer restart. So with respect to Win32 application, Intune management extension agent has a default value for retry and execution for any failed Win32 application. And these are maximum for 3 retries and with an interval between the retry is 5 minutes and the maximum execution runtime is 60 minutes. Now let's talk about the some of the common registry location where we can find the traces of Intune management extension. So there are mainly two locations where we can find the Intune management extension registries. The first location is under HKLM software Microsoft. Then we have enterprise desktop app management and this registry is mainly used to track the installation of Intune management extension agent. And the second registry location is under HKLM software Microsoft. Then we have Intune management extension and this registry is useful to check the information related to inventories, inventory settings, reboot settings and Win32 application deployment. I hope this is an informative video for you. Thank you very much for watching this video.